I think it was a, a good season in a lot of ways, but then it was frustrating as well because we, we did get a lot of girls who went down with COVID. So squads had to change quite quickly. Um, but I think the majority of it was very, very good. Um, lots of solid units that we managed to really work on. And obviously we had seven new caps, so that's always good for Team Jets. Um, I mean, personally, I, I got injured in, in March, which meant that I missed the last couple of games, which I was pretty gutted about. Um, obviously, then we managed to secure third. I would quite like to have maybe got second, um, even like obviously first. But as soon as that was out of reach, it would have been quite nice to secure second place. But listen, like we had a few unlucky injuries last season, had a few people going down at like vital times. Um, so that's hard for any team to kind of lose like three, four kind of like they're starting seven players and um, so to, for the girls to go out and get experience in those last four games is really important and it's good that they still turned up still tried different combinations because you say it follows through to this season so um, yeah no I'm glad with glad with third but I, I want to push for more. And Serena's got so much knowledge she's devoted her life to, to the game and um, so to have that experience to have a fresh set of eyes um, on the situation and to bring something new um, is always really exciting and really like motivating for the girls so I think they've absolutely loved it and um, she's been a she's been a workhorse and um, been training uh, Tuesday night Wednesday morning first thing bright and early which I don't think the girls have been used to but uh, slowly getting getting into it and then obviously like our Thursday technical so yeah that mid part of the week's quite intense um, but no, it's been really, really interesting and it's just nice for, to have Serena uh, back and uh, bring in something, a new kind of angle to, to, to our game. Yeah, it, it's just inspirational to have her here. Um, everybody's taken to everything she's asked them to do. Um, for me, as a coach, I just still want to grow and I still want to learn. So having her here and just learning little tips from her and um, just seeing how she works um, has just been brilliant for me so I'm loving it um, the girls are loving it so hopefully all in all it's just going to give us a massive boost going into the season our team's looking really sharp um, Serena added in an extra early morning session seven o'clock on a Wednesday and they've taken to it so that's brilliant um, and I think the actual energy in the camp is high um, we've got girls who've come back as well, so it's a really cohesive unit now. Um, it's good seeing all the, you know, the girls who come back. Um, they've worked at that energy, that they know the level that we're after, and they've slotted in brilliantly. So I'm really excited for the season ahead. We always start off pretty well. It seems like there's, as long as there's no kind of injuries again this year, um, which we were really unfortunate with last year. Um, I, I think I think we've got quite a lot of options. Um, I think again, Serena coming back and maybe seeing certain options that we've never thought of, um, just from that refreshing like perspective, um, it's been really really good. So it might open up kind of new channels um, and new players. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And the the atmosphere's been really good. The girls seem really up for it. Um, so yeah, let's hope that continues through to the season. I mean, obviously, obviously we do want to get eventually back into Prem. Um, I think sometimes when we put too much pressure on ourselves, um, we tend to we, we can tend to kind of crumble under that. So what we tend to do is just try and take the weekend as it comes, the two games, um, which is quite a lot to ask. It'll be tough on the bodies. We've got uh, two weekends back to back: the first, uh, 24th of September, and then the second of October. Um, so so that will be tough. So I think we've just got to kind of just go out and take each game as we can. Obviously, we would love to win win the regional this time take Wimborne on um, but um, yeah we're just gonna have to see and see how it goes. Um, we've got so like Molly Carr she's not like new in but she's still very young she's obviously at university um, and she's just growing year on year on um, so I expect her to feature heavily and do really well. Um, I suppose like Maddie Fitz, Maddie Fitz um, is at, at Wales as well so it'll be interesting to see, because she's had game time for Wales, how that she brings that into our game as well. Um, but it, yeah, those are the two, I would say. Yeah, it, it's just going to be massive for us. Um, a, to have the live footage, if we can get it working, have that live footage so, you know, their parents and their partners and families can watch them as we're actually doing it. That would just be such a boost for us. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd absolutely love to, to play play a few home games. I think we did actually ask even if some of these teams would uh, would be available to. Um, I don't think it's been possible. Um, so, yeah, no, we do miss that home crowd. It's just like your eighth player and then they just get behind you. And um, it's got such a big following. Um, so hopefully this year with the um, with um, Andy Dewhurst bringing his artificial intelligence away, um, it means that people will be able to tune in from away. So we'll just get that. I think people can feel quite disconnected from it when we're traveling away all the time. So hopefully that will help kind of um, kind of get our supporters back on board so they can watch games.